Hello, my name is Cody Wilkerson and I'm the president of the Robotics Club here at Matilda Torres High School. So how hard would you say you guys work to try to win these competitions? I, extremely. Um, there's not a day and um, during, the, during the season where we're not here. We're here every day from the end of school to um, around 10 o'clock at night just putting in the working hours. Um, every day I see all the kids come out, all the all the new kids um, trying their hardest just to, to design, build, um, all the robot components, stuff like that. Like even, um, even like the outreach team, they've been here every day just um, figuring out new ways how to get money, fundraising, all that stuff just to keep um, the program alive. And then really, really every single, every single person I've seen come to robotics just really has that passion to, to win really try and go, go to all, all the way to the, to the end um, and it really helps during competition for when we when we do go out there we're, um, we're you, it's really you can really see it um, compared to the other teams we're just miles miles ahead of everyone else but um, but yeah we really do try our hardest especially even even the leadership they gotta me as being in leadership I gotta stay motivated so all the other kids would um, stay motivated as well. If I or any of my fellow leadership kids, the effort or show the effort, um, no one else will. So my name is Aureli. How has it been building for the robot? It's been pretty smooth, like pretty smooth journey. Because every day we come in, we look at our CAD, CAD models, and from there we, we, we put a goal for ourselves in the same day, what we want to achieve, and that's where we go in and get all, collect all of the components we would need first because the way we build is we just go sub-assemblies and then from there we actually incorporate it, incorporate it all into the drivetrain which is the base of our robot and then from there that's where we see how we can actually be running the wiring like for example this year we did it we did everything from the drivetrain which is what we usually do right but we actually put it all in our e-chain which is energy chain right as a way to protect our wires when we're doing the elevators because if you do because doing that this helps us with a much cleaner look that we, that we want to have. And if I just like slide it. Alright, we good? How has it been working on the code for the robot? I mean, the code this year has been pretty, pretty complicated. Like, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of stuff that can collide if one system is in the way. So it's been like pretty difficult. Like especially like uh, coming down from like a logical standpoint because most of the the movements that we do uh, some of it like a lot of it is mathematical but a lot of it is logical based too like if this uh, self system is like angled this way then will it ever interfere with like a crossbar um, and so so stuff like that and then especially like handling like a lot of edge cases like for example uh, what if like we have a cube and then what if they're about to intake like a cone like do we want that to happen? So there's like a lot of a lot of uh, Edge cases that we have to account for there's a lot of factors that we have to account for um, and mainly like everything is just like structured like differently from one another so So everything just has to work in tandem in order for everything to like work properly because if, if nothing works properly then if, if one thing messes up, then mess up the entire robot's like goal, and it's never gonna achieve what it has to do. So, so yeah, it's pretty important that, that we take it very seriously. So it's been very difficult. How has it been mentoring the students? I mean, it's been a very unique experience because, you know, I have to share my experiences onto, like, the next generation of robotics kids. Obviously, it's really cool teaching them the skills I learned from RC and Elias in them. So everything, like, I do scouting in particular, so it's really cool seeing, like, re-inspiring the passion I got inspired in and transferring it to the kids. The way it works is I'm one of the lead scouts, so essentially it's just watching over the scouting kids. I stand to make sure the kids are doing it correctly, and then just gather their data and implement it to a spreadsheet and making sure all the data is collected correctly. And then we use that data for making pick lists and stuff for our competition. These are basically the make it or break it for our second pick. Obviously, since we see, we would like to see first every, every single regional, every single event we go to, especially in Houston, because that gives us the upper advantage. So we need to make sure not only our second pick is very set on and is can score the objects as well, if not as good as we are. 
And then our third pick is the most crucial part because they're making or break it for the entire alliance. If we have a bad third pick, obviously we're probably going to lose on picking up objects or they're just going to make something happen that's going to cost us the match. So these pick lists are very important because they practically help us win. Are you ready to go to Houston? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think we're well prepared. The team's well prepared. So yeah, I feel like we are prepared. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, this will be my first time driving competitively, so let's see how it goes. We have a new champion here on Einstein. Red Alliance led by Madtown Robotics 1323 from Madera, California.